and the models are already significantly better than humans at predicting job performance. Got it. So you're saying the causations and correlations between GitHub profiles, their past performance, their mm -hmm. projects. So you connect the dots in a way. Can you give an example? Like, let's say someone has a has a has never coded beyond college. Like they don't have a GitHub profile. They don't have a LinkedIn profile. How would you assess this person could be good at work? Yeah, so an example is we might have an AI interview for system design where we ask them to screen share and we send them a prompt uh, for a project that they should build on uh -huh. the call. And then they'll uh, screen share, they'll start typing the uh, answer to the system design question on GitHub. The interviewer will read their screen, be able to comment on their screen and ultimately come to a conclusion for how well did they solve that problem. And so there's all sorts of creative, really cool assessments that people are able to take that ultimately go into how we make the best prediction possible about how they're going to perform. So you're revolutionizing how recruitment should happen at the same time building an AI-powered platform. So you're doing not just solving one problem, mm -hmm. you're also fixing the recruitment process because it's currently broken with just lead code and like with just data structures and algorithms being yeah. targeted, not your project building and creativity being targeted. Absolutely. I, I think that it really comes down to two inefficiencies in the market, uh -huh. right? The first is what you said about how all these assessments and recruitment are broken. Like lead code is not that predictive of how well someone is doing. A lot of the human interviews are very vibes based. They're not actually tied to the outcomes that people ultimately care about. Uh, but I think the second issue with labor markets is around fragmentation in that when we're hiring a software engineer in India, they're often only applying to a few dozen jobs. And we're only considering a fraction of a percent of people in the world, right? Because all of that matching process is historically solved manually, mm -hmm. where people are manually reviewing every resume, manually conducting every interview, and manually figuring out who to hire. But when you're able to build software and automated systems that can solve that matching process to review resumes, conduct interviews, and decide who to hire at, you know, in a very scalable way, it makes way for this global unified labor market that every candidate applies to and every company hires from. God, so it's like a centralized place you're saying that where like a person, let's say I'm a, I'm a user, I want to apply for software engineering jobs right now. I have to do, I have to go to Workday. In, on Workday as well, I have to manually apply for single job positions. That's very painful. On LinkedIn, I go to LinkedIn. One by one, every single job position mm -hmm. possible, I apply. Sometimes I have to apply on LinkedIn plus their official landing page, let's say, uh, Microsoft.com, Google.com. It's so overwhelming.